Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Peaton, and I thought it would be nice to have a little video of some self-empathy or empathy or resonance in the aftermath of yesterday's world events with the loss of Kamala Harris as our future president, a deep longing and desire that was so delightfully, imaginably present within me. So um, I just, first of all, want to say to anyone who is experiencing shock, disorientation, or, or dizziness, does your body need acknowledgement that as you watch the returns or found out about the returns, it was like hitting an invisible wall that you then slid down and ended up in a little heap at the bottom, possibly even by that point sobbing. For those of us who were sobbing and have been sobbing and continue to sob every so often or have tears fall, do you need acknowledgement that the loss of that the loss was so multi-layered and makes me cry even now. The loss of a woman president, the loss of a woman president of the global majority, a person of color, the the way that so much of the country swung to just natural acceptance of her. Do you need acknowledgement of that beauty, of that loveliness, of that sense of unity, of the joy that was present, even if you were not fully on board with all of her policies and, and the ways that she was continuing some of the decisions that are promising to continue, some of the decisions that Biden has been making that you may not agree with? Do you need acknowledgement of stunned bewilderment at the Democrats who did not vote? Is there a, a, a sort of a, like, where are my fellows? A, a, a lost experience, an experience of abandonment, of alarmed aloneness, of a crash of cortisol, and, and, um, and the loss of all of your endogenous opioids and oxytocin. Do you need any acknowledgement that you don't even really know how to go on? That there is a loss of a sense of meaning and do you need any acknowledgement that you that another level of loss was the loss of a sense of country, a loss of a sense of um, of the sweetness of possibly standing together with a group of like-minded folks who were so numerous in number. Oh my goodness. So I hoped that we could even overcome the gerrymandering and the political machinations that were making such concerted efforts to stop people from voting? Do you need acknowledgement of mourning for a world that is so impacted and affected by bots on social media? Is there like a sense of, of horror, of revulsion with, the, with these crawling programs that are sending thousands and thousands of messages that don't that, that, but that are not even really authored by people certainly not by people who have the best interests of the country at heart oh there are so many more levels of mourning do you mourn the impact to abortion possibilities reproductive health for women uh, for women to be well cared for and survive when they're doing the difficult task of pregnancy? Do you need acknowledgement of the loss of um, the, the loss of so many economic hopes and dreams and a sense of small sense of stability or security that you may have had in the last administration? Ooh, that makes me dizzy. I'm just going to pause for a moment and acknowledge oh, acknowledge my love for an understanding of the possibilities of good things coming from government. 
<laughs> and how profoundly that sense of possibility is not shared by so many of my fellow countrymen. Do you need acknowledgement of the loss of, uh, of faith in the other half of the country that did not vote as you would imagine any sane person would vote? It was is it just like a, what the effing F kind of response in your, the cells of your body going, where is sanity? Um, do you need acknowledgement of um, of a deep longing for integrity and love that motivates you to reach for and and love the souls of these people who did something that you find immensely harmful, and that you that you need some acknowledgement that you love them, that they are your people, that you still love them, even though it is so shocking and disconcerting to see the world in such different ways. Do you sometimes, if you're my age, I just turned 62 yesterday, the worst, the worst birthday I have ever had in 62 years. Do you need acknowledgement if you are my age or older, that sometimes you miss Walter Cronkite and you miss the unified voice, though it may have had a slightly different political leaning than I would have enjoyed, it was still somehow had this quality of seeming, at least seeming to be rooted in fact. Some serious ellipses and problems with that reporting as well, but nothing like the kind of divide that we see now and see today. Well, there are many other things to mourn, and I invite you to name your mornings in the comment section below the video on YouTube if you would like. And I, I just want to send you each, each person who is experiencing shock or dismay or rage or outrage or fury or disgust or revulsion or overwhelm or confusion or bewilderment or incredulity or dissociation just to send everybody as much acknowledgement and accompaniment as possible, and to say that each of our responses, whatever they may be, make perfect sense. We make perfect sense. We love deeply and widely enough that we get to experience our devastation and to know that we are still carried by the ocean of our love. So I'm sending you all so much warmth, so much care, so much tenderness. <laughs>